Annie Kyo. Welcome to another episode of Annie's Raw Food Kitchen. Thank you for joining me. Today we are in for a treat. We're going to be making one of my favorite dishes, Japanese inspired ginger almond nori rolls. When I first became raw vegan, I really missed uh, Japanese food and I missed nori rolls and sushi, so I was inspired to create this recipe. You're, you're going to love it. Here we have one tablespoon of ginger, one clove of garlic, one half teaspoon of Celtic sea salt, one cup of almonds that have been soaked and then dried, one lemon juice, a quarter cup of water, and then for the roll, we're going to be rolling up in two nori sheets. We're going to be using about two cups of spinach, one half of a carrot that has been cut lengthwise, and then one cup of mung bean sprouts. So we're going to start by placing our ginger and garlic into the food processor first. You want those things to break down completely so that you don't end up biting into a huge piece of garlic or a huge piece of ginger. Ginger might not be so bad, but a huge piece of garlic wouldn't be so great. And then we'll add the salt and process that down first. Once that's all broken down, we're going to add our almonds that have been soaked and then dried. And we're going to break that down into a meal. Okay, so now that that's been broken down, and you can see they're pretty small pieces, we're going to add our water and our lemon juice. So add in the juice of one lemon, and process that first, and then slowly add in your water, just enough, just enough to make it into a paste texture. We've processed in our lemon juice, so you might want to just give it a little scrape. And you'll see that it needs a little bit more water to hold together into a paste. So I'm going to add my water, process again, and there we go. So there's our almond ginger pate. It smells amazing. So now we're going to take this pate and we're going to roll it up in our nori leaves. So this nori is actually special organic nori. So when you buy nori, you want to make sure it says raw on the package. Typically, nori is not raw. And this nori was given to me by my aunt in Seoul, Korea. So it's actually organic and um, raw nori. So it's really special nori. It's quite thin, so I'm going to double it up and use two. So that's why there's two here. And so that the moisture from the pate doesn't make the nori soggy. I'm going to take our spinach and create a bed of spinach at the bottom of the nori sheet. And that will act as a water barrier between the moisture of the pate and the nori. And it'll also add color, so it's going to make it really pretty green. I love green, as you all know, and green is a great color. We're going to add our carrots which are orange and look really great next to the green of our spinach. Look how beautiful that is. The beauty of raw foods are the colors. They're just so vibrant. And then we're going to add some mung bean sprouts. Sprouts are really great because it's the beginning of a sprouting plant that has a lot of life force energy. If you eat things that are really full of life force energy, it gives you more life force, so it makes you feel really great. So then you just take it from the bottom and you just roll it up. Super easy. Give it a roll, and as you're rolling, you just want to slightly squeeze it so that it all just binds together. And look at that. Beautiful. So here we go on the second one. So with this dish, it's obviously two servings. Um, when you're making your pate, you might want to make two to three times the batch because it's great to even just scoop on top of a bed of greens for a salad, the pate, or you could just have it in the fridge and then make a wrap really easily because you have all the ingredients made and ready to go. So that's how you stay healthy, to have all these pieces readily available in your fridge, and then you can just grab it as you're hungry and make up a snack. So here we go, we're just gonna cut it. You want to make sure your knife is really sharp so it can just get all the way through this roll. I like to start with the point to just start the cut. There we are. And look how beautiful those are. 
So I'm going to give Holland some of our almond nori rolls and see what she thinks. It looks absolutely beautiful with the green and the orange. So yeah, it does. Taste. Thank you. Wait, the whole thing? Absolutely. You can <laughs> fit it in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know I can. the sharper the knife you use, the smaller you can cut the pieces. Mm. It's delicious.